Yeah. Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In our previous video, we drew this diagram in isometric. In this video, we'll be reproducing this diagram in isometric. Like I said, when you hear isometric, the first thing you have to do you need to draw your axis, your x, y, and z axis, where your x and z axis are in what? 30 degree, like this. You draw your y axis this way. You can see that? And you place your first square this way to draw your x axis. In this way and uh, you turn it that way around like this you can see that so this is the X y and z axis at an angle of what 30 degree now we'll look for the total length the total width and the total height the total length here is 30 plus 20 you can see that 30 plus 20 since they are all at the same direction 30 plus what 20 and that will give us 50 now you place your meter rule here and start your measurement and measure 50. So from here to this point here, it is 5, that is 50. Why the other side, which is this side, the total distance here is like this, which is 40, 60, right? So I'll measure 60. So this point to this point, somewhere around here is this point to somewhere around here and that's giving us what a uh, 60 so measure the 60 so starting from 6 to 0 you are giving us what 60 right now the height right the y axis the height will now be that will be what 70 right so measure 70 from here we we'll have what is called 70. This is 70 here. From 0 to 7 is 70. Now, the next thing I'll do, I'll now make them to form a box. And how would I do that? I'll just place my C square on my T square and I'll start projecting all those lines like this and like this. You can see that. Now, what I did here, since I use this line here, since I use this to get this, I will project this to this point, then I will get this, right? Similarly, I will turn it this way. Since I use this at angle of 30 to get this, I will move it here and I am going to get what? I am going to get this. I also move this same thing to this point here. All the points, I'll get this. Right? Then, what I use to get this, right? I'll move it on my T square this way until I get to this point where it meets. And I'm going to get this. You can see that? So, let me show you something. So, if I move this up, up, up. Right, I'm having this now. After drawing out my box out, the next thing I'll do is to start drawing from the top. You see, from here to this point is thickened, right? So, from here to here, if you look at what we have here, something like this that's my inclined line. So, from this point to this point. If I'll get to that point, I need to measure from here to here, right? And that is 30. So measure 30. From here, I'll measure 30. Right? It's 30 here. 
Then I'll take in it. You'll be wondering why I'm taking it. This is the reason why I'm taking it. So I'll take it from here straight down to this point. And the reason that I'm taking that line is because of this line here is thickened. So after measuring the 30, which is this, from that point, I'm now taking it up to the final point. I don't have problem by measuring the height because I've already gotten the total height. And for me, two years, the total height, right? Now, the same thing, I will now measure this inward, which is how many? 10. From the end in two, I'll measure it inward, which is 10. So from here, and here which is here and here I'll measure 10 inward so measure the 10 inward and I'm going to be having this so measure the 10 from here inward so from 1 from 0 to 1 is 10 and from 3 to 2 is another 10 right so I'm going to take in it so I can use my set square and I'll take in those points, right? So from here, and from here, I see that even this point here is taking also. You can see that, which is even the same thing too. Let me show you. It's taking too, right? Then here also is taking. Now we'll draw this point and this point to the base line here. So this point at this point is this point and this point. So I'm going to take it downward. So from here, I'll take this to that point. And from here, I'll take this to that point. All right? And I'm going to take in here also. So the wonderful thing about isometric is just you can start anyhow, just ensure that you are reproducing whatever you are reproducing, right? So after I've done this, these two points here is these two points here. So I will measure it inward, right? And that's the distance of what of five. So let me measure five at these two points here. Now, to make that work, let's see my T square, my C square, my T square. I'll come to this point. Just use faint line first, take it inward. Come here also, take it inward. The other point I am going to measure 5, 5 in. So I'll measure from here to this point is 5. I don't have to stress myself because I'm using my instrument. I'll just from this point, place it here. And I'll close here up, right? Then I'm going to what? Close here up. The same thing apply at the base here too. But this will just go in. But before that, we'll just draw a line this way, paint line first. Now this two points here and here from this point here from this point here to this point here is given as what 10 plus 5 that is 15 so from here to here is equal to from here to here which is 15 and that is found in this diagram which is at this point from here to somewhere around here so I will draw my line with the help of my t square and c square from here I'm going to draw a line this way that is the point i'm going to measure what 15. so i can use my meter rule from 0 to 1.5 like this from this point this is 0 0.5 to 1 to 0 here that's what we have right so i'm going to what i'll close it up just as it is shown at the top left corner of the screen so i'll put it this way and I'm going to close it up since it is all taken. I'll close it up too. And here also. So now
from this point here yeah, i will draw it straight down so this point i'm drawing straight down is this point here that i'm drawing straight down so i'm going to take in it taking my instrument i will just take in from that point i'll show you top left corner of the screen and i'll just draw this this way right then i'll come here i'll just close it up as shown in the diagram and also i'll close it up too you can see that so at this point here which is this point here right i'll draw a line downward and the length of that line is from here to here which is equal to from here to here and that is what 40 i'll draw a line downward and measure 40. so this point is this point which i'll draw a line there this way downward a little bit and on that line i'm going to measure the distance of what of 40. so from 0 to 4 is given as 40 in which I am going to what ticking. So in doing that, I am going to what ticking. Now, since I've taken them at this point here, which is this point here, I'll draw a line. But the distance is not given. So how are we going to get the distance here? We know that. From the beginning of the line to this point here is 60, right? So if I remove 10 from 60, it will remain 50. If I remove another 10 from 50, it will remain 40. If I remove 5 from that 40, it will remain 35. So it means that from here to here is given as what? 30 what? 35. So I'll measure this point this way with the distance of what? 35. So this point. With the help of my C square, I will draw a line this way, and I'm going to measure 35 on that point. So this is 35 here, right? Which is here. So I can just stick in it immediately, right? Now in doing that. I will now draw my line from this point, just faint line to touch this point here. So from that point, I realize that from here, just as it's shown in the screen, to somewhere around here, the line is touching it. So I'll just place my instrument at that point. Then I will take it up. You can see that? Just as it's shown in the top left corner of the screen, cover that from here to this point also, it is ticking. So I'm going to take in them, taking them from here to here, right? Also from here to here, which is from here to here and here to here. So here to here and here to here, I'll take in it, which is here to here and here to here so i'm going to take in those two points to so do that just like you can see here you can see that now if you look at the diagram very well this point here is this point here i'll draw a line in what this way right to touch the other part of the line and this point you seen is around here so the way will help me in is if you look at the diagram very well there's a line that is coming down here i'll use faint line first because i don't know the length the extent of the line so at this point here since i know where it's stopping i will just um tick in here to touch that line right before I can now take in this one. You 
you can see that then if you look at the diagram here is closed up so i'll draw the line I, the way i draw this i'll move it to this point then i'll just draw it touch this point here you can see that now we know very well that this point is this point so i'll draw it down straight faint line first right so let's do that so i'll draw it down straight from that point way down right and i'll just draw this at this end here to touch that point too this way that again and also can decide to just move here uh, too just move here because i realize just move here this way now as you're looking at this now if you look at this point here right is this point here and i'll measure distance of what 10 upward right and i'll thicken it to so measuring the distance 10 upward from here which is here and I will take in it you can see that then this point the same point is still the same point but I'm moving upward like this and that is what 20 so I measure 20 from here I'll measure 20 this is 20 here and I will be able to take in it right now I can take it up a little bit just as it's shown in the diagram this way then I can close here up from here to here I'll close it up and uh, from here to here I'll close it up which is from here to here and here to here now this point here i'll draw it to touch this line here so this point you are seeing is this point so i'll draw it with the help of my c square and t square and i'll just draw it to this point since i know i'm going to i'll draw it and i'll take it right and here since i don't know where i'm going to i'll just draw a front line so I can now use this point and take in from here to this point here. So I know exactly where I'm going to now. And here also, take in from here to here. Right? And from here to the size shown in diagram, I'll take in from here to here since I know where it's touching. And from here to, I'm going to close it up here. Then I can now connect from here to here and from here to here with the help of my rule. I can use my square square and t square combined. Right? Now, this is what we have produced. So, if you see how effective it is when you draw out all your lengths. All your height and all your width you it will help you in reducing the amount of measurement you take and reduces your stress so don't forget to like the video and don't forget to what click on the subscribe button if you have found this video helpful thanks for watching